Welcome to Manchester, where we're shortly going to bring you the inaugural running of surely the most exciting new half marathon on the calendar. We've got 12,000 runners raring to go and a first-class elite field eager to do battle. Welcome to the Aldi Manchester Half Marathon. This event is brought to you by the same team that organised the Essex Greater Manchester Marathon, voted the UK's best marathon in 2014 and 2015. Today's 13.1 mile route is designed to be quick and just like its big brother will be lined with supporters before the runners come back here for the finish at the Emirates Old Trafford. Here's your commentator, Patrick Winterton. Well, after the success of the marathon earlier in the year, it is great to be back in Manchester and everyone looking forward to this first half marathon event. And a great field has been attracted as well. There are some fantastic sights, of course. Old Trafford, the home of Manchester United. There's Sir Matt Busby. He played for Manchester City for five pounds a week and then became the manager of Manchester United from 45 to 69. And here's the route for today's race. It starts at White City Roundabout, a clockwise loop, takes them up to the three mile mark, and then they head southwest on Chester Road. The turn coming at seven and a half miles, just short of Altrincham. With six to go, they then head through Sale and Stretford. The last rise coming at around 12 and a half miles, and then they'll turn right onto Talbot Road. It's a long straight finish and they finish opposite Trafford Town Hall with, of course, Emirates Old Trafford Lancashire County Cricket Club there as well. Well, the turnout is fantastic. Over 12,000 racing today and the enthusiasm sky high. So many wanting a fast time. Hoping for a PB. Yeah. like to get 138, yeah. There we go, 138. 145, hopefully. Oh, good luck, a little bit of competition between you two. We like it. First one, so I'm guaranteed a personal best either way around, aren't it? A little bit nervous, but yeah, looking forward to it. Some of them are newbies, some of them are not. This is my third half, some of them are their first half here. Yeah, so um, we're going to do it. We're really excited and hopefully we're doing a pretty good time. And how are we feeling about the half marathon coming up dressed as a banana? Confident. <laughs> I like that, whoa! Well, when you get a lot of people together, you can achieve great things. And so many people today raising money for good causes. It's early morning. You're just about to run a half marathon. How does that sound? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> I know there are a lot of people out there supporting everybody for their own causes. So, yeah, I'm sure it'll be a great atmosphere. About finishing and raising money, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter how quick you do it. <laughs> good luck today. You are right with your pins? Well, if, no, you haven't got time. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll help you. Come here. Well, here are some of the favourites. Adam Hickey there in the striped blue and yellow vest. He's on very good form. One of the favourites to win today, but he will have some stiff opposition. And can Helen Clitheroe wind the clock back a bit? Two-time Olympian, bronze medalist from the Commonwealth Games in 2002 in the 1500 metres, beaten by Kelly Holmes on that occasion. What can she produce today? I'm really pleased to come here and support it. Um, it's a while since I've done a race. I thought I'd retired, so <laughs> it's uh, nice to come back and race here and just see what I can do. Um, obviously not expecting to be in the shape I was in a few years ago, but it's great to support a local event like this. Now, here's one of the younger runners, Louise Small, 24, young, fast, inexperienced at the half marathon, but she did produce the 7740 at Warsaw. She is capable of much more than that. And here's Faye Fullerton, coached by her mother, who's been pushing her pretty hard of late. Training's been going pretty well, actually. Not high mileage, I wouldn't have said, but it's been the sessions have been key to the build-up to this race. 
and the last couple of weeks my sessions have really, really picked up. So preparation's gone fairly, fairly well, but even more so in the last two weeks. Number one on the start sheet is Matt Bond, who's in the middle of your picture. One of the favourites, and he's on very good form. We'll see how, see how it goes, um, see what the pace is like. I don't want it to be too slow, but we'll see, uh, see what, what we're at when we get to 10 miles and uh, take it from there. And standing on Bond's shoulder is Adam Hickey, the 29-year-old from South End, who has a 10k PB, some 30 seconds quicker than his rival. It's going to be an interesting clash. I'm a racer, so I'm just going to go race it to win it. Uh, and then hopefully the first time I'll come from that. There's a few fast guys in it, so it should be good. We're getting very close now. Kallenberg, Swinburne. We've got Carl Hardman, we've got Paul Martelletti on the, in the yellow vest on the left of your picture. He always starts hard, formerly from New Zealand, now lives in Mile End. But he did run the York Marathon just seven days ago. I wonder how recovered he is. He used to hold the record for the marathon in a superhero suit. That has gone, but he will be in the running at the halfway stage. Feel sure of that. Well, this is what we saw in York with Martelletti going out front. But to be honest, we've got a better quality field. And there are some, what, 15, maybe even 20 athletes who should be able to stay with the pace through to the halfway stage. If it's set at around a 65 minute pace, which is just under that five minute mile mark. Martelletti, who does a lot of racing, better known as a marathon runner. I find with a marathon, you've got to be a bit more careful um, there's there's more scope to for things to go wrong uh, so I tend to try and pace it a lot better I sort of know my where I'm what pace I'd be able to run but with a half it's it's more you can just go after it like you, know, you can attack it a bit more um, the pain you know if you do blow up a little bit it's not so bad you've only got a few miles to get to the end usually and next door to Martelletti, we've got Mike Kallenberg, who's also got a record for running in a superhero suit. He ran the Cardiff Half Marathon as Robin in 69.33. That was a fantastic effort, and he'd better make sure that he beats that time today. He's certainly capable of it. It's a really strong field. It's great to see, actually. Yeah, it's good for British distance running. Um, that's what I love about races in Manchester, actually. They always seem to get a good group of British runners together. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, Matt Bond, um, and also Adam Hickey, like, they're all going to be really strong content to contenders for the win today. Callum Berg starting well, but just like Martelletti, better known as a marathon runner. This, in fact, is a warm-up for the 50km World Championships, which he's entered himself in for. Matt Bond sitting in the middle of the field, efficient as ever. Leading the women's is Helen Clitheroe, 42 years old now from Preston Harriers. All the top four women are there. We've got Fullerton, Murray, Louise Small is in that little group as well. And that will mean they're setting a very good pace. Get into a river and relax and just watch. I tend to be more of a, a racer than go for times. So I just have a look, see what other people are doing, what paces they're running at. Try and run with someone who I know that will you know, bring me through. So the first sort of five, six, seven miles even, just run without, just switch off and go into almost autopilot. And then the race sort of begins after that, really. Clitheroe looking very strong indeed. Remember, she ran the 1500 in the 2000 Olympics and then upped it to 3000 in 2008 in Beijing. And here are the masses, waiting patiently to get over the line. It always takes a few minutes and then they're underway. The running starts. What an atmosphere. Well, this is the leading group. What do we got? 15, 16 runners in there. Matt Bond out front. He won't want to do too much leading. The first seven miles of this race, pretty much into the wind. And I suspect, one, the group will stay together, and two, we'll see them sharing the lead. Matt Bond, I think, already looking for someone to come through. It may be Nick Swinburne, who takes his turn at the front. Adam Hickey sitting comfortable. He's a very tactical runner, Hickey. He will look for the slipstream and save his best till last. He's a quick 5,000-metre runner. He'll be very, very strong on the finish. 
Spencer, Swinburne, Hardman, Watson, all in that leading group. They're all there. The pace is sub five minute mile. The marathon runners will want to get away in this one. The sprinters, the 5,000 meter runners will be quite happy for it to stay as a group. It could take some tactical nows to win this race in Manchester. Welcome back to the Aldi Manchester Half Marathon. It's the inaugural running of this event. It's a fast and a flat course for the elite runners who are having their whirlwind tour of the city well on their way to the finish. The leading women well over the halfway mark now. Rebecca Murray and Louise Small have a narrow lead over Helen Clitheroe and Faye Fullerton. The young versus the not so young. This is going to be a really interesting battle. Little chat between Murray and Small. I wonder whether they've decided to step up the pace. Well, it certainly looks like it. Clitheroe going with them, but not looking as comfortable as she did. And Faye Fullerton, who's done a couple of really tough weeks training, really struggling. And Rebecca Murray is flying at the moment. The leading men over eight and a half miles run. And Matt Bond has never been out of the top four. Adam Hickey just behind him in the green and black. But it's Carl Hardman who leads at the moment. Hardman who does a lot of training with Matt Bond. Paul Martelletti hanging on in fourth place at the moment. It's going to be interesting to see how he survives. Certainly being forced to go with the pace rather than setting it himself as is so often the case. You know, you're struggling and you see some some split and it's like five or ten seconds off, you can sort of think, you know, it just might not be your day for whatever reason. So hopefully it just feels comfortable being near the front, really. Well, is this the move? Matt Bond, Adam Hickey, or really just Matt Bond, because he's the one setting the pace, I think waiting for the turn. And now he's got the wind behind him. It's much easier to lead the way out. And over the last, what, 300 metres, that gap of 50 metres opening up between Hardman and the two leaders, Bond and Hickey. I'm not sure there's a way back for Hardman now. Now, this is Louise Small, who was with Rebecca Murray. And now she's on her own. Murray actually up front. So Rebecca Murray has stolen a march on Louise Small. And she's still looking very comfortable. A really good cross-country runner. Comes from Luton, runs for Bedford and County Athletics Club. Her coach will be delighted with the way things are going at the moment, but still some way to go. And everyone knows those last couple of miles are the hardest. And these two men are going to have a really tough finish. What a battle going on. Adam Hickey's race plan was to stick with the leader. He's confident of his finishing speed. Matt Bond is not as quick over 5,000 metres. He's not as quick over 1,500 metres. So Matt Bond surely has to try and get away at some stage. Has he got the legs in him? What can he do to shake off Adam Hickey, who hasn't put a foot wrong so far? I don't think Hickey has led for a single metre, but this might be the moment. Here he goes, up onto the shoulder of Bond. Bond, who put in a fantastic effort between seven and nine miles, but it did not have the required effect. Hickey is still there. The faster finisher must be the favourite now as we watch the masses who are spread over some seven miles of this half marathon course. Some have a long way to go. We're having a bit of a party here. How are we, how are we feeling? Fantastic. After a time today or just raising money for the charity? Do a half marathon. I'd like to do it under two hours if possible. I'd better let you carry on, sir. You're looking good. Well done, guys. <laughs> Thank hey, you. Yeah, well done. Tell me how you're getting on. I'm doing OK. I'm doing OK. Just gone through a bit, bit of a low patch, but I'm, I'm going to catch up speed now. Hoping to do it under two hours. And what were you thinking about to get yourselves back in the right, play, right frame of mind? There goes that banana in front. I've got to catch it. <laughs> <laughs> I like your thinking. Well done. <laughs> this bunch of bananas lost anybody? Are we still all together? A few overtook us and a few are behind, but... Oh, so you're evenly spread out. Great bunch, yeah, come on. And all the support is amazing. It means a lot, doesn't it? Just Can't gets wait. you round. Hey. <laughs> oh, hello, hello, sir. 
Are we, uh, I'm doing very well. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, actually. Tell me about the wheelbarrow and the reason for it. I run for Dr Kershaw's Hospice in the name to raise as much money as I can for Kershaw's. You know what? I love the fact you're raising money for charity, you're running a half marathon, but you've still got your police helmet on. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Thank you very much. Great course. Take care. Fantastic atmosphere. Wonderful. Do this again. Well, once again, Adam Hickey puts his foot on the pedal. He's coming up towards the Bridgewater Canal. And this might be his opportunity to shake off Matt Bond once and for all. Just under a mile to go to the end of the Manchester Half Marathon. And the two leaders out there, Adam Hickey, coached by Eamon Martin, of course, former Commonwealth champion over 10 kilometres and winner of the London Marathon. He knows a thing or two about distance running. And Norman Poole, who guides Matt Bond on his training. Incidentally, Carl Hardman, who's in third place, also trained by Norman Poole. So he'll be enjoying watching this race. But I'm not sure he would have the answer for Matt Bond at this situation. And you can see the grit and determination on the face of Adam Hickey. This is where he always wanted to win the race, in the last kilometre. He'll break to his right in just a moment, onto Talbot Road, and then he will see the finish, but it will be some 900 metres away. And that is a long, long finish. Louise Small still in second place in the women's event. Nothing she could do about Rebecca Murray, who stormed away just before the 10-mile mark. That's what she promised before the race, and she has delivered. Now the gap looks significant. What is it? 20, 25 metres between Hickey and Bond. Has Bond got one last push? Well, certainly he's uh, accelerated. He's chosen the other side of the road. He might have been better to be directly behind Hickey and out of sight, out of mind, but that is not the case. And Hickey has seen the danger, and again he drives to the line. Less than 30 seconds, 15 seconds to go. The win is in the bag for Adam Hickey. The man from South End is going to add another good victory to his list of successes for 2016. He is the Manchester Half Marathon champion. Obviously, he's a season like marathon, half marathon guy, so I knew he'd be he'd be strong. But I just yeah, just try to hang on to him as, as best I could. Um, but yeah, he's obviously he's bang on pace for around I think 65ish. So I knew if I could stay with him, then it'd be a good good run at the end. And oh, he's a beast. So he's a beast, hard one to beat. He didn't give up. Put some quick miles in the second half of the course and just stuck to me like glue. So uh, I know he's a very fast guy over 5k, so I need if I needed a gap, I never needed it. Uh, quite a long way out, which just wasn't coming, so gave it everything but a fair play to Bond very disappointed. Here's Carl Hardman, his training partner, who gets himself on the podium with a very impressive PP, only 56 seconds outside the winning time. Watson four and Paul Martelletti fifth position 119 down in the women's well the writing's been on the wall for some time Rebecca Murray storming home to take the title in Manchester she's got to be happy with that 52 12 at 15k she's kept the pace going 112 59 her winning time as we watch Louise Small coming into the finish she is going to take about four minutes off her PB and she's only 40 seconds down on the winner. Five miles to go, I just felt, still felt really strong. I think I've moved away from the girls a bit by then and I thought I've got to give it a go from here because uh, I'm not really renowned for my sprint finish. I thought I'd better go a bit earlier if I was going to give it a go. <laughs> I knew I was in good shape, but I didn't realise I could run that quick. So. <laughs> Second place for Louise Small, but she has some future ahead of her. To get a PB, and my PB was 77 minutes something. 
So I smashed that, so I'm really pleased with that. I just wanted to come away and enjoy it and, you know, have a smile on my face, which I do. And after running 13 miles, you have to have a smile on your face, so yeah. So let's have a look at the women's results. Murray, 72-59, 48 seconds clear of Louise Small. And a brilliant run from Helen Clitheroe, retired from international running back in 2009. She's got herself on the podium today. Brilliant to, you know, to come along and support this event and get so many people out and about running again, um, which is what it's about really. So uh, yeah, it's really great to be here. And nice to see her here as well as it is to see the thousands, over 12,000 entered for today's race. Huge numbers in fancy dress, even more raising money for good causes. It's such an important part of this event. Last mile now, one, one mile. mile. To one mile to go. And that's motivating, right? So motivating, I could not all see it. Legs are aching a bit, but it's for a good cause, so I've just got to keep going. A personal reason for that? Uh, yeah, one of my nana's best friends has got Alzheimer's, so I'm doing it for her. Well done, my friend. Great cause as well. <laughs> How's it been for you guys? You enjoyed Real yourself? Fantastic. Great, great support. Awesome. And this last mile in heading towards Old Trafford, a good thing or a bad thing? Brilliant. You know where the end is. It's right there. I did it. <laughs> There's a bit of Old Trafford there. Is that inspiring for you? No. Because? Because I'm a Liverpool fan. <laughs> <laughs> Have you smiled at all around the course, or is it just when you've come round and seen the finish? We've been grinning ear to ear all the way round. It's been brilliant. Hard work, but brilliant. And I'll tell you who else is smiling. All those that have produced PBs today. The course designers went to great lengths to find the flattest course possible. And they've obviously done a great job because so many personal bests set today here in Manchester. I think that means it's going to be a full house next year. The rain was hard, but it's a lovely course and brilliant support. Great people out there, support all the way around. Fantastic Manchester. It's just a good atmosphere, it really helps you around. The supporters that did it for me today, loads of supporters out, so it was really nice. We've come all the way from Jersey to race this, so really nice to run a really, really friendly race. Great course, nice and flat. Hard work in the rain, and I got blisters at five miles, so <laughs> for a two minute PB, take that. Amazing. <laughs> it was really, really good. I loved it. Lots of sport, not seeing them because we just went too fast. <laughs> so runners are still finishing behind me in the first ever Aldi Manchester half marathon. We've had all the elements, sunshine and a bit of rain, but it didn't dampen the enthusiasm of the 12,000 runners. A roaring success. From all of us here in Manchester, we'll see you soon.